These products are so good. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to reuse some of the best new makeup that I've received lately or some of the things I've bought myself. I feel like it's so easy to just keep trying new products over and over and over, but I've tried too many good things. I cannot just try more new things without enjoying the things that I'm like so giddy about that's new. So we're just gonna dive in and play with some of these new things. The very first thing I was so excited to wear again is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint. This is an insane, skin tint. I've never experienced a formula quite like this and I'm so excited about it. I'm giving it a little shake. Mine is in the shade T2. I did my skincare not too long ago, so we're gonna count that as primer. I'm just gonna apply this all over the face. You can see how phenomenal the shade match is. And then the formula on this is so good. I'm not even kidding you when I say I woke up excited to put this on. <laughs> ah, of course I'm like a makeup junkie, but you know something's good when you wake up and you're like, wait, I'm excited about something, what is it? And then you're like, oh, a new product that I'm super excited to wear. So I'm just buffing this all over the skin. I love everything about this. I love how it feels, I love how it looks, I love how it actually looks like your skin, but it still gives really great coverage. I'm just pressing that in with a sponge. It just looks so good. For concealer, I really wanted to use the Say Beauty Concealer. This is brand new. You guys know how much I'm loving the Cali Ray Brightener. But I really wanted to wear this again because the formula is so nice and I wanted to see how this works with the skin tint. I just feel like these two could potentially be a match made in heaven. So we're trying it out. Let's see, something like that. I'm just gonna blend that out with my BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose concealer brush. I'm taking what's left of that concealer and just putting it all over the eyelid to cancel things out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press that into the skin with my sponge just to make sure there's zero harsh lines. Okay, next is a product that I bought that I'm really, really loving. This is from Victoria Beckham. It's called the Contour Stylus, and it's basically a contour stick in like the form of an eyeshadow stick. It's that small, but I've been loving it for that reason because I feel like I can be so precise with this. This is the lightest shade. I think it's called Travertine. Yeah, it's called Travertine, but I'll literally just like kind of draw on the forehead like this. My favorite thing to use it for is nose contour because I feel like it's so easy to just kind of trace down the sides of the nose and then up into the brow area as well and around the lip. It's so good for like a little lip contour. I'm just, I'm loving it. And in some ways it kind of feels like it might not blend out, but I found that it actually does. Like you can see how seamlessly that just blurs out all over the skin even though I did like a pattern. I think it's so nice. So I'm just gonna blend this out with a brush, just blending in upward motions, also blending out the nose. And then I'm just gonna take my finger to blur out that lip contour. I'm taking my sponge and just whatever's left on the sponge and I'm just going over, especially the nose contour to make sure it's super blended. But look how nice and natural that looks. It almost doesn't feel like it's gonna do as much as it does because it's so small, but I'm like, I'm obsessed with it, it's so good. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Huda Beauty powder and I'm just gonna set the eyelids and around the eyes. I'll get to the rest of the face later, but I'm wanting to do my eye look, so I'm just gonna make sure that's set. I'm also taking a little bit of powder through the brows just so that my brow product sticks. We're gonna do things a little bit backwards. I normally do my brows first, but I'm gonna do a bit of an eyeshadow look before that, so I'm gonna take the Mario Neutrals palette. This is my favorite palette right now. It's so good. I'm gonna take this shade. This is my favorite shade in the palette, and I'm gonna start to create a little Transition shade through the crease. I'm not gonna be shy with this shade. I really just, I love this color so much, so I'm gonna really build it up. I want a little bit more of a glamorous eye today. I'm gonna take that same brush, same shade, and just pinch the brush and apply that along the lower lash line, connecting it to the existing shade on the top lid. I'm kind of buffing it in this area here and up toward the brow a little bit more than I usually do. Okay, now we're gonna go into this brown shade right here, and we're gonna start to deepen things up a little bit on that outer third. How pretty is that brown? Are you kidding? It's such a beautiful color. I'm gonna take that same color on a little bit more of a small brush and smudge that right along that lower lash line, focusing it on basically the outer third. I am bringing a little bit of it toward the center, but not too much. I feel like that's a great base for what I wanted to do next which is use one of these. I can't decide between the gold or like the bronze. This is the new Persona Eye Paints. I used the pink one last time and I really liked it. It made me wanna try the other two. 
So we have kind of like this warmer copper gold and then we have like a true bronze. I'm just kind of swatching them to see which one I want to use. I think to keep things just like a little bit lighter on the eyes and not too smoky, I'm gonna go with the eye paint in the shade Oro. So let's go ahead and apply that one eye at a time. I'm just gonna do the inner portion of the lid where I haven't applied a product yet. I'm blending it out with the brush that they sent with this. This is their double-ended brush. Oh gosh, how pretty. I'm just kind of buffing that out. Oh, that looks fabulous on top of those Mario eyeshadows. Let's do the same thing on this eye. I want a little bit on this lower lash line, so I'm just lightly applying a little bit with the applicator, and then I'm going to buff that out with that same exact brush. Things are looking really nice. I feel like I look wild without my brows on, so I'm actually gonna do that before mascara, because I find that sometimes if I do mascara first, my lashes get in the way of my brows. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Build a Brow. I love this brow pen, it's so good. I'm just gonna fill in the brows with this, all right, now that my brows are on, I'm gonna go into the Bubel and Rudy Chocolate Dipped Mascara. This color is so pretty, and the way it holds curl is insane. I'm thinking this is gonna be really extra pretty against the golden eyeshadow that I just applied. So I'm gonna really layer this up. I feel like this color of brown is so perfect. Look how pretty that is. I really do love it against that gold eyeshadow. It's so nice. I'm just gonna apply the same mascara to the other eye, and I'm really taking my time to like build up layer by layer. All right, we're moving back to face. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Huda Beauty powder and just set the perimeters because now that I've got a little more on the eyes, I do feel like my skin needs a little more bronzer just to kind of match the intensity. So I'm just gonna go into my Oma Beauty bronzer. This is one of my favorites. This is the shade White Pearl. It's not gonna look too over the top, but I just feel like I need a little more warmth since I went a little heavier on the eyes. Sometimes I feel like once my eyes are done, I need to add a little more on the complexion to balance it out. I recently tried a brand new brand called Gemma Lepre. They sent me some beautiful blushes and I wanted to try another shade. The last shade that I tried was very pearly, but this one is matte and I really wanted to try it. And I forgot to use the blush brush that came with it. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna dip into this, tap off the extra into my hand and then add this to the apples of the cheeks. This is a really pretty like peachy pink. It's called Eau Naturel. I'm just adding that to the apples of the cheeks and a little bit above. This brush is really nice. I like that a lot. Oops, I put a little too much underneath my eyes. Whoopsies. I'm gonna have to take my powder brush and just kind of like erase. <laughs> That's a really nice color though. It doesn't look overdone. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna take it across the nose a bit as well. I'm just kind of like inspired by the eye look. It's feeling a little more summery, which we've got a long way to go till summer, especially here in Utah. It literally snowed this week but I'm just, you know, inspired by the eye look. I really like that. All right, we're gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. I'm trying not to wipe away the little contour we did around the lips though. I'm wanting to go in with the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil in the shade 1N. I used this in my last video and I really, really loved it. I'm just blending that out. And then I'm gonna use, it's literally like the same combo that I used in my last video. This is from the new brand Ortega from the celebrity makeup artist Etienne Ortega. This is his new lipstick and it's so pretty. This little lip crayon is called Nubis. And I'm just gonna apply that to the lips and blend it in to the lip liner so that it all looks so cohesive. But I love that it kind of just mutes the lips and it seamlessly blends into any lip liner. Now I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath gloss that I recently bought. This is the shade Earth Angel. It's the coolest color. The reflex in it are quite visible, but like really comfortable. It looks more golden in the tube, but then when you apply it, there's actually like fuchsia glitter pigments in here. And I just really love it. I think it's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna assess the situation. I feel like my brows need a little small touch up. Okay, now that I've kind of touched it up, I'm gonna flip it over and use the brow gel on the other side to set the brows. Okay, I'm taking what's left on the blush brush, adding just a little bit more to the cheeks. I think I like where everything is at. I'm just gonna set the face. Today I'm gonna use the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Setting Mist. Since we used the skin tint, I wanted to keep it in the same family. So we're just gonna spritz the face with this. Let that sink in, and then once it's like halfway dry, I always like to take my sponge and just press over everything so that there's no like powdery finish. I'm just adding a little bit of what's left on the powder brush back through the T-zone. And then I wanted to use a gorgeous product that I bought. This is from Chanel. I've heard a lot of people talk about this multi-use balm highlighter stick. I love a good balmy highlight, so I wanted to use this again. 
Just on the high points, I like to do this as my very last step in my routine because I like to use setting spray and then go over that with a sponge and I just don't want to like accidentally pick up the more precise like balmy placement of the highlighter. So just adding that to the high points of the face, down the nose a bit. I think that's so pretty. Okay, I love how this turned out. This would be like an amazing date night look. It also makes me very excited for summer. I feel like I do this type of a look a lot on vacation, like a tropical vacation if I'm going out to dinner. I love using more like bronzes and golds on the eyes. It was so fun for me to use some of these new things again. I mean, it just proves how good they are. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I love everything about my complexion especially. I feel like that Say Concealer mixed with the Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint was a real win. It just looks so nice. It looks so nice. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me reuse some of these products. I love to do this. I feel like we're always pressured to buy new things, but then I feel like you only see people use them for a handful of times and they're on to like the next new thing. So I really wanted to sit down and like use these products again, especially since I'm so in love with them, especially in case you guys picked up any of these products, you can see it in action in a different way with a different kind of a look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming. I love how my makeup looks today, truly. These products are so good. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to join the family. Just click on the subscribe button. I have a goal to reach a million subscribers this year, but of course I need your help. So if you haven't subscribed, it really helps me out. Also give this video a thumbs up. That also helps my channel. Let me know in the comments if there's any other things that you wanna see me reuse in the future. Like if there's something that you have or you bought based off my recommendation and you want like some more inspo on how to use it, how to wear it, or some looks to create with whatever it is that you have. Let me know in the comments because I really do love reusing products. I love to show all the different ways you can use something and all the different looks you can create with them. So let me know in the comments. That's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you.